Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be doing a request from one of my top tier patrons. I'm gonna be watching Snatch from 2000. So thank you very much, Brett. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited for this one. I've heard that Brad Pitt is shirtless through a lot of it, so that is cool. I am looking forward to that. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Here we go, Snatch. I'm just gonna get my blanket. It is a touch chilly. Here in Canada today. Let's do it. Oh, I'm excited for this. My name is Turkish. Funny name for an Englishman, I know. My parents to be were on the same plane when it crashed. They named me after the name of the plane. Not many people are Morbid. named after a plane crash. That's Tommy. He tells people he was named after a gun. He was really named after a famous 19th century ballet dancer. Huh. He's my partner. I give him a hard time, but really. He's like my brother. I was a happy boxing promoter until a week ago. It's a nice story, Adam and Eve. What do you want us to do? Drop my <laughs> Okay, go through. <laughs> you have kept us waiting for half an hour. Oh! I did not see that coming. Wow. I mean, I guess I should have seen it coming. Ooh, a diamond. I love a good heist. I'm into this already. Damn, that's a big diamond. When you get to London, if you want the gun, call this number. Boris, he can get you anything you need. Is he allowed to throw that? It's an unlicensed boxing match, Tom. Look at it. I'm not supposed to run this thing from that. We're gonna need a proper office. I want a new one, Tommy. You're gonna buy it for me. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> oh, nothing, Tommy. Well... It's tip top. You just gotta pick it up. There's an address. Well, I ain't parkies, are they? What's You're a pikey? You, Tommy. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? The Germans? <laughs> What's to stop it blowing your bollocks off every time you sit down? Yeah. It's heavy, isn't it? Heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. If it does not work, you can always hit him with it. <laughs> Boris yeah. the Blade. There's a reason for Tommy's newfound enthusiasm for firearms. In the unlicensed boxing world, you're gonna have to deal with that reason. Brick Top. It's rumored that Brick Top's favorite means of dispatch involves a stun gun, oh. a plastic bag, and a pack of hungry pigs. Uh. No. Feed them to the pigs, Harold. I don't want to see a human getting fed to pigs. No, no, no. My ear is a good fighter, so I'm going to use him. I'll be doing you a favor, boy. What he means is, I'm doing him a favor. Nobody takes a dive in my fight, unlike his. Frankie fucking four fingers has a diamond the size of a fist. Yeah, he does. It's in the briefcase connected to his arm. I sent him to you to buy a gun. What uh... do you want me to do? Get somebody else to steal that fucking stone. Don't use idiots for the job. I feel like he's gonna use idiots. 86 carrots. 86 carrots. Now, when do you get back? Get a bit of pies, a couple of this. Frankie, and what? I like how he's wearing a different outfit every time. Don't go screwing it up, all right? I'll see you, Abby. <laughs> London, you know, fish, chips, cup of tea, Mary fucking Poppins, London. <laughs> the weight is sign of reliability. I always go for reliability. And you can always hit him with it. <laughs> this movie's like amusing. I like it. What are we doing here? We're buying a caravan. Off a pack of fucking pikeys. This will get messy. Now, there is a problem with pikeys or gypsies. Yes, way back. You can't really understand much of what is being said. Come back to caravan. It's not Irish. It's not English. Hey, the weather's been kind of for the horses, you know. It's just <laughs> pikey. Do you like dogs? Dogs. 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 Uh, dogs. Dogs. I like dags. I like caravans more. Pikers are well known for their skills of negotiation. Part of the reason they talk like they do. So you can't follow what's being said. But if Tommy can get the caravan, on his return, there'll be an ice cream waiting. See you later, lads. Laters. Cute dog. Right. What, they sell them a lemon? What's your bad hey, sight? Dirty. Fuck off now, well, you still got the legs to carry you. <laughs> Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. Why the fuck do I want a caravan? It's got no fucking weeds. Go sell it and fight! Oh my dead body okay, life! Okay now, we're going to sell it some other way. Okay. You want the money? Fight for it. You and me. Really? Must be a hell of a fighter. <laughs> Why would he ever okay. want to take that guy on? Oh, what does he have up his sleeve? All right. Oh, he is a good fighter. Okay. Damn, he knocked him out. It turns out that the sweet talking, tattoo sporting piker was a gypsy bare knuckle boxing champion. Okay, okay. Which makes him harder than a coffin nail. Gorgeous doesn't wake up in the next few minutes. Tommy knows he'll be buried with him. Oh, shit. Tommy, 
the tit is praying. And if he isn't, he fucking should be. The editing in this is really interesting. Very stylish. I don't know if I've seen a lot of Guy Ritchie, but I wonder if it's always this stylish, if he's kind of an auteur. What is that? This is a dog. You know, Jippo's soul. They're always throwing dogs in with deals. I have a job for you. 50 grand for half a day's work. Go on. I want you to hold up a bookies. I am in a rush. I got to make the bookies. What are you betting on? The unlicensed books, all right? Do you know something that I don't? Booby, I probably know a lot you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that dog dribbling on my seats. Your seats? This is a stolen car, mate. <laughs> While I'm at the wheel, it's my car. I thought you said he could drive, so Don't worry about me, just worry about that dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was so long, I love it. Don't worry about Tyrone. He can move when he has to. Can he? Ooh. What's that? <laughs> this. He's a shotgun, so Control that dog as well. <laughs> Give it that squeaky toy. <laughs> Don't snatch. Can't swallow a whole ball. Is he gonna swallow it? <laughs> oh no. <What> <laughs> he was half his size. Didn't expect him to get hurt. Put the man into a bare knuckle boxing match. Well, Brad Pitt looks kind of puny next to that guy. How are we gonna explain this to Bricktop? That his fight isn't gonna happen. We replaced the fighter. With Brad Pitt? And who the fuck are we gonna replace him with? Let's use the fucking pike. Yeah, hello. What you gonna pass? 10k. <laughs> hey! Can I do it for a caravan? <laughs> what? Caravan. caravan! It was I said one in the caravan. That's not for me. It's for me, man. <laughs> you what? It's me. It's me. <laughs> Bricktop runs an illegal bookies. They take bets on anything that involves blood and pain. And if I didn't have the replacement piker, he'd want to split me in half. We're changing a fighter. I don't care if he's Mohammed, Imad, Bruce Lee. You can't change fighters. You've still got your fight. Make sure your man goes down in the fourth. Oh, Brad Pitt's never gonna go down. Never. Where's Frankie Fourfingers? He's coming back after he's been to a fight. A boxing match? You're talking about Frankie. I've got a problem with gambling fucking four fingers, Doug. <laughs> I'm coming to London. <laughs> so Shut stylish. Shut down, you big ball fuck. <laughs> I hope that you can appreciate the concern I have for my friend Frankie. I'm going to find him, Doug, and we're going to start at that fight. <laughs> oh, it no. It will probably cough it up. Do you think it'd be all right? I don't know. No, not. Poor squeaky guy. A man with four fingers carrying a briefcase, Tyrone. The Russian gets the case, we get the money. The sound in this is really funny. There's just like squeaking in the background. When they were in the trailer, the caravan, there was just like a fly buzzing around. I really like the sound. I'm looking for Frankie fucking four fingers. No, if there's gambling involved, he'll be here. He's going down in the fourth. Do they mean Brad Pitt? Because I don't see that happening. Listen to that squeaky oh, guy. How many fingers did he have? <laughs> Let's start the show. I feel like it's not him. The music's really good in this too. I like it. Do you know who this bookies belongs to? You give me everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're so screwed. <laughs> Drop the screen now. If all bets are off, then there can't be any money, can there? What have you got? A few coins, but no notes. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. You've got five fingers. God! Yeah, these guys are idiots. Oh, God. Oh, no. Damn, they're terrible. Oh, my God. It won't open the security door. <laughs> This is terrible. They're awful. That just got worse and worse. They're screwed now. Fully on camera. You're fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. It's just got the little gun. Run! Oh my god. Tyrone, what are you doing? Get us out of here! This is the actual guy, right? The big fat guy actually did it. You're going down in the fourth. Let's make sure he yeah, gets right. for the fucking floor. I'm curious if he's gonna actually do what he's supposed to do. Uh, yeah. That's what I thought. Just knocked him out. <laughs> Damn, Brad Pitt, you look good. They're in big trouble. I'll make it up to you, I promise. All right, so they got Frankie Four Fingers. What you're doing with him? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you drop it off? There weren't much cash at the bookies. Here's the, the ten grand. No, no. Keep it. 
We want this. Well, at least half of this. Is he just gonna kill them? Oh, Joe! He could not know my name. Oh, he just killed him. Give me the stone. It's in a case. Then open the case and give me the stone. They don't know. The only man who knew the combination. The combination. You just shot. Uh, gross. No. Ugh. Ripped up in short, we'll be looking to kill Tommy, Mickey, and myself. Mm mm. Hey, go and put the kettle on. I've got a bare knuckle fight in a couple of days. I want to use the pikey. But this time, I do want him to go down the He's fort. not going to go down. That's never going to happen. Right, that takes care of one little piggy. Now find me the silly sods who blagged the bookies. You're looking for my boy, are you? He's coursing. What's coursing? Coursing. Hair coursing. They set two lurchers, dogs, before you ask, on a hare. And a hare has to outrun the dogs. Do you know these tits, Errol? I don't know any quite as fucking stupid as these two. <laughs> Tyrone, you silly fat bastard. Well, do you want to do it? Have to put hands on what? On you. Hey, this kind of a... It's a fair deal. Take it. Uh, the sinus house frame furniture and the uh, scarf cushions. I've made myself clear, boys. To be honest, it sounds like the Newfoundland accent in Canada. Boys. I bet you for it. You'll what? You bet, bet you for it. it. If I win, I get a card around. If I lose, <laughs> I'll fuck it. I'll do the fight for free. Okay. Your bookies. How do you Hey, mate. It was us that wanted to buy a caravan off of him. That six pound piece of shit stuck in your trousers. Do more damage if you fed it to him. You saying a gun don't work? You tried it? Whoops. Hope this is not a bad moment. <laughs> do you know who I am? I do. Good. That will save me some time then. You're always going to have problems lifting a body in one piece. Cut up a corpse into six pieces. Sounds messy. And when you've got your six pieces, you've got to get rid of them. The best thing to do is feed them to pigs. They will go through bone like butter. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one setting. He's so an, be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about... Eight minutes. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Is that true? That's insane. Ugh, damn. He's still alive? Why can't you find me Frankie, Doug? he's Abby, dead. I'm not a bounty hunter. What about Tony? He'll find you Moses in the burning bush if you pay him to. He's the best chance you've got of finding Frankie. That sounds promising. What are we waiting for? Yeah, I thought there was like a head in there. Bonjour. <laughs> Why do you think we got a dead man? Missing an arm in our office. You give us four days and I will get you a stone the size of a fucking home. You've got 48 hours. If you keep that silly fat wanker, the lads can't lift it. Tony, there was a man I'd like you to find. Where was he last seen? At a bookies. Hey, Dean, Tony, you all right, mate? I want to know who Black Bricktop's bookies. Oh. <laughs> Comfortable mullet? <laughs> you take all the time you want, mate. What the fuck you did, John? <laughs> I think I'll speed up. I want to know who Black Bricktop's book is. It's very effective, Tony. It's not too subtle, but effective. A Russian? Give me a name. Boris. As in Boris the Bullet Dodger. Yeah. He won't fight unless we buy his mum a caravan. Are you taking a piss? You're not much good to me alive, are you, Turkish? Punishing for me, Errol. I never really understood that British phrase, taking the piss. Bricked up, thought smashing up our arcade might help me to persuade Mickey to fight. And if that wasn't enough, he thought it would be a good idea to burn uh, Mickey's mum's caravan. He's not gonna like that. While she was asleep in it. <gasps> I did not see that coming. So they killed his mom? Follow me and I'll fucking shoot you. How silly do I feel? His mum is still smoking next to us. I know I'm asking him to fight. I'll do the fight before he causes any more carnage. Russians should have known. 
There's a strange man down here who wants to sell us an 84 carat stone. He's got a thick Russian accent. Mm -hmm. Tyrone, you get round to the Russian. Second you see him, you give us a call. Get his keys and find out exactly where the stone is. I don't want to see a throw cut. Do you want him to be able to talk or not? What the fuck do you mean? Replicas. They look the shit, don't they? And nobody is going to argue. They're not real? Extra loud blanks, just in case. In case we have to deafen them to death. Boris is there. We're coming over. You hold him there. Hold on. He's not on his own. Are these two going to screw oh. up again? Sneaky fucking Russian. It's not just the three fellas went in the ass. Why didn't you tell us that? Because you got off the phone. What do you want to do about the Russian? I want you to bury him. I think we should get you a new gun. But this time, try it. We can't take him now. We're going to have to follow him. How do you want to get rid of him? Well, do you want to shoot him? It's a little noisy. Do you want to stab him? Well, it's a little cold blooded. Do you want well, to kill then. him or not? I'll cut him. I got a blade. Yeah, that's the spirit. Do they fire? What do you know about replicas? Well, you wanted to know whether or not they work. You are so. But there's a proper blade back there. The human digestive system hasn't got used to any dairy products yet. Let me do you a favor. <laughs> sharp side, a blunt side. Would you want a lesson? Damn. Is that Boris? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, Tyrone, what have you done? The dog, he's so squeaky. You can bring him with you if you like. Uh. Which bit would you like to bring? I want a gun that works, and I'm gonna tell him. You just tell him who's in charge. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna mess it up. <laughs> Hello. I don't wanna fuss, but unless you give me exactly what I want, there will be fucking murders. You're having second thoughts. You're shrinking, and your two little balls are shrinking with you. And the fact that you've got replica down the side <laughs> of your gut. <laughs> the fact Come that I've on. Got Eagle, written on the side of mine. Should precipitate your balls into shrinking along with your presence. They should just run. Run, run, run. Lock the door. Lock it. Oh. <laughs> They're so terrible. Give me the case. Shoot me. Oh, God. They're all just going to shoot each other. Well, not those guys. They can't shoot anyone. Pass me case or I shoot you. Go ahead. You do me a favor. Go ahead. You drop guns. Pull your socks up! Avi, what's the case? Boris, what are you doing here? Fuck you! Uh. Don't take the piss, Boris. I'll show you. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Did they get him? Oh, he's out. You lucky bastard. That guy is pretty lucky. All right. It's flawless. I can't believe they got it. All right, you give me the stone and I will give it to Bricktop. Give me a minute. What is he doing down there? Well, I'll put it down there in case we've got mud. Who is going to mug two black fellas holding pistols, sat in a car that's worth less than your shirt? I feel like they're going to get mugged now. Bullet Tooth Tony and his friend Desert Eagle. What have they got to do with anything? They're both steering straight at me. Yeah. You should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. Just tell him the stone's back at the office. Is it still in his pants? I'm a little worried, actually, Turkish. What happens if the gypsy knocks the other man out? We get murdered before we leave the building. Imagine we get fed to the pigs. Well, I don't exactly trust the parky. It's his mum's funeral tonight. You know those gypsies like a drink at a wake? Not worried about whether Mickey knocks the other man out. Worried about whether Mickey makes it to the fourth fucking round. But what if he doesn't make it to the fourth round? We get murdered before we leave the building. I know you imagine. We get fed to the pigs. Mm-hmm. So why are you so calm? It's not as though we've got a choice now, is it? You show me how to control a wild fucking gypsy, and I'll show you how to control an uninged pig-feeding gangster. And where's the stone? Come on, where is it? I left it in a box. It's empty. I'm getting heartburn. Tony, do something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dog. dog must have oh, they're it. just gonna shoot the dog. Tony? What? Look in the dog. 
You mean look in the dock? I mean open them up. It's not a fucking tin of baked beans. What do you mean open him up? You know what I mean. No, you can't do this. I don't want to see a dog get shot or cut up. That's squeaking. Tony get shot? Tony? Anything to declare? Yeah. Don't go to England. That dog is gonna go back to the campsite. All right, but we're gonna have to wait until it gets light, and we have got to get rid of these bodies. Let's stick them in the car, and then go and look for a pig farm. If you see the pikey, Turkish or his girlfriend, come out before me, shoot the bastards. Well, come on, we got a fight to go to. I don't know what's gonna happen in this fight. Brad Pitt's all hungover. Mickey's going down in the fourth. They're all heads down at the camps, right? They're over there now, Governor. I fucking hate pikeys. Uh, it'll be a Trojan of a It'll be the <laughs> There's a campsite full of pikeys who might not think you're so fucking funny. Not when they're putting out the flames on their children's backs. Eh. I don't know what he's gonna do. Yep. There's no way he's gonna go down. Do you understand the consequences of what will happen if you knock that man out? He's not gonna listen. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Mickey? You'll hang us with the ring ropes if they think it's rigged. Get out there and hurt him. Do not knock him out. I really like the sound. The sound editing in this is so cool. Oh, shit. Damn. All he's got to do is stay down. Now, we are fucked. <laughs> oh man. We're out of here. Stupid fucking piker. Those brick tops got a dozen keen to kill monkeys with shotguns sitting outside his campsite. Once the campsite's wiped out, I know it's gonna be the same for us. Did they just kill all the people at his campsite? You ever crossed the road and looked the wrong way? Give me that fucking shooter! Then hey presto, there's a car nearly on you. So what do you do? You freeze. You just freeze and pull a stupid face. <laughs> the pikey didn't. Why? Because he had plans on running the car over. It had previously occurred to me that the gypsy had taken the demise of his mother rather lightly. For every action, there's a reaction. Mm -hmm. and a pikey reaction. It's quite a fucking thing. Oh, shit. I thought he took it kind of lightly too. I was surprised. It seems like he has a temper. I'll give you a shooter. Oh, it's them in there. That is when a clock oh. pikey had money riding on himself. That's the reason the bastard never goes down when he's supposed to. Damn. We're worse off now than when we started. The next day we went to the campsite, but the gypsies had disappeared. Hmm. Which was probably a good thing, considering they'd just buried 12 people. You won't find a pikey that doesn't want to be found, Tommy. So, what you doing here? Hmm. <laughs> taking the dog for a walk. What do you know about gypsies? No, they're not to be trusted. All right, get your dog. On your way. Get the dog, Tommy. Come on, boy. He loves that dog. Always playing silly games. Stop messing about, Tommy. He's so sneaky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you tell me why you got a dead man with an arm missing your boot? You love a dog, didn't you, Tommy? <laughs> The vet found half an undigested shoe, a squeaky toy, <laughs> and an 84 carat diamond. Yeah. So what do you do? You go to see the man that knows about these sort of things. Do you know anyone who'd be interested? I might. Nice. Okay, well that was Snatch, and I really liked it. I laughed quite a bit through it. I was entertained. I really liked the camera work and the editing and the sound, the sound editing. They were all really cool. You know, lots of fast cuts and like lots of styles. That's gotta be what Guy Ritchie is all about. Now I know. I thought it was really fun. It was cheeky. I was like amused through most of it. It felt like a dark humor. Lots of funny dialogue. I am curious to know if that's Guy Ritchie's style that he's known for, if you know, other 
other movies of his are also like that. The quick cuts and, you know, just very stylish editing. If I had to pick an MVP for this movie, it would be Brad Pitt because A, he was shirtless, and two, because he turned it around on them at the end. Everybody kind of underestimated him and then bam, he uh, got his revenge. If I had to pick a low-key MVP on the side, I would pick the dog because he carried that diamond, he carried that squeaky toy. I got a ton of laughs out of listening to the dog uh, squeak in every scene that he was in. So yeah, low-key MVP goes to the dog. The worst award I'm gonna give to the guy who had the dog fighting. Not a fan, not a fan at all of that. I really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, just really cool, really stylish. But yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Really glad I watched it. If anyone's interested, I do have full-length reactions of all of my videos on Patreon. You can see some uh, of the gems of idiocy that pop out of my mouth. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time and I will see you next time. Bye guys.